young man. I am Khonsu of Bethel, Egypt. What business do you have with me? <sighs> you heard him. Miyazu is coming with us. And after that, what exactly could you do for her? <sighs> I have watched you and Miyazu for a very long time. Believe me, I understand that you want to keep her safe. However, now that demons have invaded Tokyo, you simply don't have what it takes. I will be the one protecting Miyazu from now on. Time to do the right thing as her brother. Time to stop putting her in danger. <laughs> the hell do you think you are? Stole her from the hospital? What kind of protector does that make you, huh, jackass? Let's go, Yuzuru! We got this guy! We'll get Miyazu by force if we have to! So, it has come to this.
Watch this. Miyazu! I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine, Yuzuru. But please believe me. Konsu was just trying to protect me from the demons. But... I know. You're the one who's been protecting me this whole time. And you've sacrificed everything in your life just for me. Sacrificed? That's not true at all. We're family. The only family we've got. I know. But I also know that I'm a burden on you. And I don't want to be anymore. Kansu will keep me safe. That way, you can start living for yourself. And if I see that you can do that, then I think I can have hope for my future too. But if you're still worried about me, please help other people who are suffering like I am. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to get involved in this too, but thank you for trying to help me. I apologize as well. I should have done more to keep this peaceful, but I'm sure you understand the threat that the Kadishtu pose. Will you allow us to shelter Miyazu here? Please take good care of my sister. Something else I should tell you, Nahobino. You are aware that Abdiel is currently commanding Bethel's forces against the Demon King, correct? Well, it appears another Archangel may be making a move. His name is Mastema. Archangel Mastema. You might consider him a shadow operative of Bethel, taking the dirtier jobs in the name of God, even commanding demons. I am certain he is working behind the scenes to hunt down the Kadishto. If you use that, you should be able to meet with Mastema. It may be worth your while to speak with him, seeing as how you share a common goal.
Thanks, everyone, for helping me with Miyazu. I guess she's stronger than I ever gave her credit for. She doesn't need me anymore. Yuzuru, that's... Sorry, Yuzuru. I couldn't help much. And he ended up doing most of the work. You don't have to be sorry. If there's anyone who wasn't able to help Miyazu, it was me. I... I have to think about the last thing she said to me. Yuzuru. Hey, do you have a moment? Back there, Konsu said he'd protect her, and we basically just took him at his word. It's a risk. Do you think we can really afford to believe a demon's promises? Or not? You know what demons can be like. Would we be fools to trust them? Huh. They're actually a lot like humans, aren't they? Some are easy to trust, and some are a different matter altogether. Sorry, I guess that all came out of nowhere. Hey, look, uh, are you gonna go see the Archangel after this? Cause if you are, would you mind taking me with you? Me too. I want to know what Bethel HQ is thinking. I'd like to join as well. Is that all right? Okay, then once we're all ready, let's go. Young man, I would like to ask for your opinion on recent events. Yuzuru Atsuta had been fighting to protect Tokyo from demons for the purpose of keeping Miyazu, his only family, safe. But his actions created an unintended byproduct, namely an emotional burden on his sister. This led her to leave him and go with Konsu. Human feelings are complex, and it is difficult to ascertain correct courses of action. I am curious as to your thoughts on the matter of Yuzuru and his sister. Compromise. So you mean to say that neither side was entirely satisfied with the result? By entering Konsu's protection, Miyazu will be safe from the danger surrounding Tokyo, and it is unlikely that Bethel Egypt will be defeated by other demons. Additionally, Yuzuru will no longer need to risk his life to protect his sister. From this perspective, the ideal result was reached for everyone involved. But even if that is the logical conclusion, the look on Yuzuru's face seemed to indicate a reluctance to accept it as such. Now I see why you called it a compromise. Matters can hardly be fully settled when accounting for human feelings. The human heart is difficult to understand. Even if both sides want what's best for each other, a desirable solution cannot always be reached. But despite that, I believe having such unconditional love and compassion for another is a remarkable quality. 